from Bukangesa Omole arrested. The police actually arrested me. To Morara Kebaso owning a police station. You own a police station. You need to own a police station. Kasaban Makore's hidden talents. Where are our missing children? We are coming for you. Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Terry. Recently, the world has witnessed quite a number of fire cases in Kenyan schools. Some of the children lost their lives while some of them went missing. Our Kenyan brother here has decided to demand for answers. Listen to this. Wa Kenya, the biggest mistake to Tafanya ni historia kikunywa maji kama tumekanya ngia hivyo manze tupige nduru let's demand for answers from left right and center hadi wa producer wa watoto whether dead or alive man sisi wote tuko na watoto shuleni bana hapana guys pigeni makelele pigeni makelele post on your status za whatsapp za facebook za tiktok ask ulizeni watoto wako wapi man guy haya guys ask for these children tupewe watoto wetu story, please. That is the biggest mistake to Tafanya. After all these fire incidents in schools, Ugandans decided to teach and train their children by conducting fire drills in their schools. Take a look at this. Schools should be a safe heaven for our children. Bring back our children and for those who lost their lives, may their souls rest in eternal peace. <laughs> Youths are being frustrated day in, day out. I want us to go all the way to Isiolo where our young Kenyan brother wants to sell his one of his kidneys so that he can fund long overdue repairs of his local mochari. Mimi ta donate kidney yangu moja iuzwe yende mochari itengeneze. Mimi nimeweza kuzunika hapo jana. Nilipofika pale hospitalini niliweza kupata mtu ameweza kufariki na akaweza kuwekwa kwa probox kama guni ya viazi ndio apelekwe mochari meru kwa sababu gani kwa sababu mochari ya isiolo haifanyi kazi na hiyo si kesi peke yake tumekuwa sana tukivumilia sana makesi wengine wanapeleka watoto meru wengine wanapeleka mochari za mbali kwa sababu tuko na mochari yetu na haifanyi kazi na isipokuwa hiyo hospitali yetu inasemekana itakuja kuwa level 5 itakuja kuwa level 5 waje na tunaweza kupata kweli hospitali aina mochari pia nikizungumzia ni, ni, ni kuna wanafunzi wanasoma hapo KMTC au wanafunzi kuna wanataka kusoma mutishian wataweza kusoma, watakuwa nasoma kwenda kusoma kaunti nyingine mambo ya mochari yetu tuko na mochari yetu hapa kaunti ya Selu na haifanyi kazi serikali imejificha sana gavana umetulia sana 10.5 million imetengewa mochari na hiyo pesa hakuna mwenye amejitokeza ama contractor yote tumeona tu, ama tumeweza kuona kazi kifanywa pale ya yeah, masoga guys can see this uh, era right here is called the cold room and this is now where the bodies are kept inside here after embalming the bodies are kept here so that they can be preserved you know where the families come to see the bodies so i think let, let me show you how one fridge looks like inside this one empty fridge inside As you can see, like this is now the fridge inside here. 
So after embalming, the body is put here so that it can be cold and preserved and well. Hmm? <laughs> Moving on to the next video. Gen Z's are injecting left, right and center. I want to show you guys of this video of a young Kenyan brother, a young Kenyan Gen Z who has decided enough is enough. Listen to what he has to say. How can 70 students disappear from a school and your melalanda near dorm? Then Gashago Konagadza Kukuja on live television, Unambia Wazazi and the school community, at your two students Penyawako, Tochek Pimana Manze, Watu Siwa Jinga Buana. We can't put a blind eye, Wakila Kitu, Sikila Kitu Nigidurai, when you safari come little on the steamer, safari come little on the steamer, Watu Kiulua Gidurai. Adi video li postiwa TikTok, Mse unaskia gunshots ndo easy, but wa Kenya ni nani? Blind eye. Kwa ni mteka blind eye ya difikelini, mineral zenyu zinaibiwa, blind eye. Watutu wanauliwa, blind eye. Gen Z's ndo wana kuwa abdate. Blind eye. Alafu wana takuni ambia nini? Hata ime ni bo. Ime ni bo. Have you ever seen those institutions, organizations, or even companies where they just use interns, but they don't give people jobs, they don't employ people, neither do they pay people? Let us go all the way to Kijabi Hospital and just listen to this story. Kijabi mmechukua internship kama dio workers wa hapa. Muna walipa peanuts ya 10,000. Muna tuwa ni HF and SSF. Uyo mtoto na baki na 7,000. After that, muna mfanyisha kazi for 12 hours. Kafunda. Kama kuda, kama gui. You want to kill our children? You're not employing people? Eh? You're using our kids? We are telling you this. The moment that we are coming to occupy Kijabe, it is soon. Muli nyanganya taitu yangu, tunayikujia na the community of Kijabe. Wacha hiba mumetoka from 250, patient to 100. It will be worse. Zero profit. For those who are running Kijabe Hospital, if you don't watch out, we as a Gen Z will occupy and you will not believe. You will not believe. Kijabi mumechukua internship. Kama dio wakas wa hapa. Muna walipa peanuts ya 10,000. Muna tuwa ni HF and SSF. Uyo mtoto na baki na 7,000. After that, muna mfanyisha kazi for 12 hours. Kafunda. The National Chairperson and National Organizing Secretary of the Communist Party of Kenya, Buka Ngesa Omole, he was unfairly arrested at JKA while heading to Beijing for an important meeting. Just listen to how things unfolded. At about half past four, I appeared at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and I was destined to travel to Beijing, China for uh, official party duties. Since I'm also the national vice chairperson of the Communist Party of Kenya, and I've been one of the, uh, one of the key instrumental people in terms of driving the coalition politics against this uh, uh, illeg illegitimate government. Now, it's also important that even though the police claim that they had a red flag to avoid me from traveling, it's also important to know that the police actually arrested me after the immigration officers had actually cleared me and my passport was stamped that I am ready to travel on Qatar Airways that was having a detour at, you know, Doha and then tomorrow to Beijing. Now, I was arrested inside the plane and I was told that the government agency that is looking for me is the DCI headquarters. Dadzia, ni meno tenda onama. Bu kangasa oma ule tashuo. Dazai Kenya ne lobi da feji chang. Hu jiao ta you. Chen zhang ye you. Dazai feji li mian. Jun bei yao chu zhong wo Beijing zo hen zhong yao da shi. Ran hu Kenya jing cha dai bu ta. Kenya ren. Kenya ren. Nonsense.
it's important to note that the police has been on my case harassing me, you know. Um, and today, when we were just at the central police station, another delegation of the security forces are in my house breaking into it. Let us take a short break. You're going to be right back. Yeah. Yes, Yuan Xiaojie is what we are now celebrating. Ah, so you can tell me Yuan Xiaojie is happy? Yuan Xiaojie is happy. We are in the house. We are in the house. Yes. We are in the house. 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 啊，谢谢。大家，我们今天有一个通过的啊美女，所以我要你，你祝大家元宵节快乐。祝大家元宵节快乐。I'm Hillary from China. Yeah.从什么城市来？呃，浙江温州。啊，Yeah.巴黎。对，然后很高兴在肯尼亚遇到这位会说中文的朋友，然后一起共度元宵节，祝大家元宵快乐。Amazing, thank you. <笑> thank you. This man is awesome. Oh my god. Let's welcome a brusky Albi Steli. On the last episode, I pronounced Morara Kebaso's name incorrectly, and some of you decided to correct me on the comments. And this is what some people had to say. Munda said that pronounce Kebaso and not Kabeso. Leave the wrong pronunciations to the foreigners, please. Nina said that. Report properly. The name is Kebaso. Masi W124 said that it is Kebaso and no Kebaso. Chieta. Really? Okay. Morara Kebaso owns a police station. He revealed this while he was in Oga Obina's live. Listen to this. Naitwa Giviru. Okay. I own a police station there. You own a police station. You need to a police station. What do you mean? You got to know the story. You know, I give you. Yeah. Which is Nyeri Town constituency. Yeah. Financial year 2018-2019. Kume jengo police post up. Paka waleo. Haina police. Na ime pigwa rangi za police. Iko na cell. Iko na OB. Iko na office ya OCS. Na hiko mpaka na amari mali ya kweka bundoki. Sasa nilienda tu nikaingia kwa OB. Kwanza nikajikamata. <laughs> nikajiingiza sel. Alafu nikajiambia mabusu toka. Nikatoka. Kwa jipia bond. Nikajilipia bail. Nikajilipia bail. Alafu nikajia point of yes. <laughs> gidhiru. Eh. Hey, gidhiru. Hmm? It's called Gidiru. Wacha tuone hapa kama I'm getting the name correctly. Eh? Ni Gidiru. Eh, Gidiru Police Post Nyeri. Na wajua leo DIG amekataa hata aenda kotini. Paka akakuwa acting uh, pol inspector general. Instead of putting police officers in that station to protect the local community, they're just busy looting. Even this police officer got tired and just see what he went to do in the streets. <laughs> Granda una granda una idea watu wewe wewe ni muizi kwa nini una idea gari wewe wewe ni muizi wewe ni muizi wewe wewe ni muizi kwa nini una idea pesa una idea pesa kwa nini una vuja kiwa kwa nini una vuja kiwa kwa nini una nini Unafuja kiyo kwa nini bro? Mchari, mchari. Hachana, eh. Tumia buda. Eh. Unafuja kiyo kwa nini? Unafuja kiyo kwa nini? 
Is the Kenyan education system messed up? And show of this video of Big Bad Ogre who decided to inject China in case of fire. Daily, to nafunso gatu maombi maombi ni kama maombi is the answer. Nisikie, while sisi tuko busy tunaomba, the white man alikuja kachukua resources zote. Na sayana tuko pesha pesa na zile resources zetu wanzi alitumia. It's about time uju education, siku juwa siju thorax na abdomen na the longest river in Africa. It's about time to educate you, it's not idea. And it's about time to stand for the right things that kufunzo wa shule. Sisi upuzi upuzi watu nafunzo wa shule bro. Yes, prayer has never been the answer. Ukie kama mtu logical na weke mtu prayerful, mtu logical ata win all day every day it's about time to kufunzwa logic instead of kufunzwa religion i said what i said not only canines are tired but even animals are tired too this donkey was spotted somewhere just ripping off and taking down ruto's uh, campaign posters many politicians who have been in power since kenya gained independence in 1963 they always come together when trouble knocks at their doorsteps i want to show of this church where our brother here decided to inject Listen to this. Personally, as a prophet of God and as a servant of God, I don't support him. One, because Ruto William killed so many Kenyans in Kondele, killed so many Kenyans in Nairobi. So many Kenyans died. After this death, now Ruto and Raila sit down. Then they say work together. They are working together on top of the graves of Kenyans. They are dancing on top of the graves of Kenyans. If Raila was so serious, about his patriotism for the Kenyan people, he shouldn't have joined hand with Ruto, who is a killer, a murderer, a vampire. He wouldn't have done so. And for that reason, I 70% doubt whether he will make it. If he make it, okay. But I, Apostle Michael Band, I, mean, I don't support. I know many people will say you don't care. You don't care. My heart is not your heart. It is your heart that does not care. Praise the Lord. You can say whatever you want. You have your mouth. I've said my own. Everybody in his office. There's office of the fool. There's office of the wise. There's office of the ignorant. I don't know which your office is. Mine is a prophet. That's what I've said. I am against it. There's no way government, politicians can always be uniting for their own selfish gains. This is not the first time that you're hearing about fire cases in schools. It has happened before and it's currently happening now and it's still happening. And she goes of this video of our Kenyan brother who decided to inject and also open and enlighten Kenyans. Listen to what he had to say. What I know is that government knows what is happening in the country now. I'm well convinced. I'm 100% convinced that government know what is happening. What they are trying to do is to shift political temperature. Kwa kuweka watu wazazi wenye wazazi wenye wausiki na siasa kwa shida yesterday it was um, it, it was hillside academy yesterday it was hillside academy today as i, as I am speaking now isiolo girls iko on fire so do you want to say that a government ejuki kitu yoyote kwa nini mashule zinachomeka ama mnataka kusema that kuna msimu mwenye anatoa sacrifice hakuna sacrifice inatolewa what the government is trying to do is to shift political temperature kwa kitu ingine so that what say you waanze kuongelea mambo na shule kuchemuka and you can remember there is a year pia washai fanya kitu kama hii we all know a brother by the name of Kasamuel Macoure who has been injecting since day one and apart from him having a talent in singing, he also has a talent in playing instruments. Take a look at Kasamel McOre with some amazing vibes.
passing across somewhere here and I'm seeing a flat is written. Zaburi flat is not owned by Ruto. It's not owned by William Ruto. Guys, what's up? People are not renting this house. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host, Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, you need to say that you don't give me.